this is the end of the Birkenhead Lake. It's not far from Pemberton. It's a popular uh, camping spot. The uh, lake is not that big. Uh, it took me maybe an hour, maybe a bit over an hour to come in here with my kayak. The water smells like um, something with fish. And it's possible because of the uh, algae in the, in the lake. It doesn't smell bad, but it's kind of a alive something that tells you that there is fish in the lake and if you look around you see big mountains it's very hot in the summertime and uh, it's beautiful it's calm it's a calm lake and a good thing there are no mosquitoes here uh, I expected to to wear my uh, my net my mosquito net but I don't have to and at the end of the lake, also I expect it to be all wild, like some other Canadian or British Columbian lakes. But I see properties, like people build some sort of a cabins here, someone with a solar panel, two cabins here, a pontoon. It looks like a, an abandoned site. Like someone has a shed. But it's not really well maintained, but while others uh, put money into maintaining the site. Oh, oopsie, there is a, there is a river, I don't want to go on the river. <laughs> BC rail, okay, that's a good thing that I saw it. And I feel the current, you see, this thing, it tells me there is a current. Huh, good thing I saw it on time. Because all this thing goes to a river. <laughs> hey, nice. Okay, I saw it. Oh, look, that's a sandbar. Almost hit the sandbar. Good thing that I have my uh, polarized glasses, so I can see where I'm going. And good thing that I have my motor on my kayak. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, I don't know if I, if I have. Uh, muscle power to pedal against the current. I could I could sense the current even the motor was not going fast. Uh, yeah, so people have some properties here for a long time. I can see this one is uh, not being used or uh, nobody been here for some time. It's like abandoned. Um, other places are uh, well maintained. It tells me people are coming here very often. But what I'm trying to say, uh, it needs lots of money, not only to build stuff here, carry the materials from uh, that side, uh, which connects you to Pemberton and other cities, and bring it with the boats or barge. I don't know how they, they manage to carry the material to build a house or the ha a cabin like that, because they require lots of uh, wood, lots of uh, other items. And um, yeah, it, it costs money, then the property costs money, uh, then the tax, and you would have to make at least $40 an hour for a long time, for many years, uh, working in a, maybe as a manager, working maybe, uh, make, having a business so you make $200,000 a year, or being a heavy duty mechanic or some sort of a, you know, hard labor or maybe a contractor lots of contractors uh, make lots of lots of money because they, they have the skill how to uh, get money from the customer since it's a good market especially in construction in repairs and all that and plumbing and they make big chunks of money and uh, they build uh, they buy properties uh, repair it or like uh, you can buy a property from an older couple who can't uh, afford to maintain it uh, and you just uh, repair you do stuff or you update and you have a property in the lake so on the weekends you come in here with your jet boat or ski boat or just for a beer 
Yeah, I've seen uh, lots of people doing that type of stuff. And uh, it's a cool life. For me, it would be very boring. Uh, I would have to make sure I'm coming here. So it makes sense to pay uh, maybe loan or pay mortgage or pay uh, the tax, the property tax on the, on the area. So for me, it would not make sense. I want to explore different places every time. But there are people, you see here, people are coming here with family, with kids. They have nice uh, log cabins, bring beer, bring uh, party people and have good time. But you have to do that like uh, very often to make sense. For me, it won't make sense because uh, I say, you know what, that's an old uh, old story, old adventure. Why I need to go back to that one? This is like a woman only. There's no guys on the on the party. What are the guys? Oh yeah, the guys with are uh, with uh, motorcycles. <laughs> Very nice. How they got here with the motorcycle? There is some sort of a road. Yeah, so that's the end of the what's called um, Birkenhead Lake. Okay, you take care of yourself and have a life full of adventures. Bye bye.